sports is supposed to be competitive and fun, but some parents, perhaps coaching from the sidelines or reliving their athletic lives through their son or daughter, end up doing more harm than good. Our next guest says parents make a bigger impact when they keep their emotions in check and show their support in a fun way. Joining me now is Fred Balsamo, the executive director of the Connecticut Association of Athletic Directors. Welcome, Fred. Thank you for having me. All right, Fred, I'm guilty. I have a nine-year-old daughter who plays soccer, and I'm yelling at her at the sidelines saying, stay focused, watch the ball, not a good thing. Well, parents yelling is not a good thing. It's, they need to focus on the coach, uh, especially at that age. It should be more about having fun, uh, growing in the experience, uh, learning some skills for later life, and uh, just enjoying it, certainly at nine years old. And what impact does that something like that have on, a, on the athlete as they move forward into uh, school athletics? Well, part of the, part of the problem is is when it's the parent and, and their perspective and their attitude. Um, you know, we more kids are playing youth sports now than ever before. Uh, there's there's a youth everything. There's from hockey to lacrosse to ho to soccer to everything, and a lot of the parents are running these programs. They're coaching, they're league directors, they're officiating. So they have an awful lot of say and control over their child's athletic career. And when they come to the high school setting or the middle school setting, um, we're standing at the door with our hand up saying, no, no, no. We, you know, we now have trained professionals. Uh, we will take it from here. And a lot of them are not willing to relinquish that, that, that control. So it's tough on the parent. Yeah, it's the kids are fine. The kids are just, and you know, a lot of times, uh, and the video we produced says that. I mean, you know, communicate with your child. Uh, very often, they're fine. Uh, they may not be starting, and they're on the bench, but they know their role. They're at practice six, seven days a week. They know where they fit in the bigger scheme of things. It's the parents who can't accept the kids sitting on the bench, or the parent can't accept that their son or daughter isn't the star or the leading scorer because they were in youth. And so um, this, this video that we produced is supposed to help them transition a little bit and, and create a uh, kind of an eye-opening experience for them. Now, are you seeing more and more parents out of control? That's why we, that's why we did the video. I, I think um, they are. Uh, it, it, rather than say out of control, I would say more passionate and more emotional. Um, look, I'm a parent, you're a parent, as you just said. We all want our children to do well. And one of the things... Uh, we do is we tend to push. Uh, we live vicariously through what they're doing. Um, and again, you know, the, the proverbial someone's looking at the butterflies at nine years old and the, the mother or father's on the, on the sideline screaming, you know, get in the game, get in the game, get in the game. Well, you know, is it important at nine years old that they win the, the everything? And, and uh, again, I, and I, don't, I don't prescribe that we shouldn't keep score. Kids know how to add, so there should be winners and losers. There's no question. But it's but part of life. Exactly. You're, you're going to have to win. You're going to lose some things as well. But parents coming off the field at that age, explaining their child uh, that they still love them, they still support them, win or lose, the game's over, move on. And, and so we can take something from the game, win or lose, and, and teaching our young people. But parents tend to get a little overexcited. Uh, again, I don't like to use the term out of control. Uh, it's, it's just a better part of their emotion that they, they just can't keep in check. All right, so what can they do when they're in, on, along the sidelines watching this? How do they keep that uh, excitement inside? It's tough. It's tough. Sometimes, and sometimes they got to isolate themselves. And, and, and that's, you know, the video does explain some strategies uh, on how to communicate with their son or daughter. And Certainly before and after a game isn't the right time because that's when emotions are high and they may get into arguments with their own children. We've, we have different scenarios in there that, that, that depict different personalities. But, you know, one of the things is to isolate themselves. So sit, sit remotely. If, they, if, if um, they, they know they're the type of person that when they're near other people that excite, get excited and they tend to get excited, uh, maybe they're better off sitting by themselves. But most importantly, they just need to, st they need to take uh, a good look at themselves and realize the big picture, um, keep things in perspective. This is, you know, um, they want, we want their athletic experience to be meaningful and fun, and, and so do their parents. But it, it isn't only about their child. It's about the team. Now, one of the key words you use in the video is perspective. Can you explain more about that? Yeah, and, and a little bit uh, what I've been saying is par parents, they, they don't have a true picture of what's going on. They see everything through their eyes and uh, their child. Um, you know, every parent that goes to watch an athletic contest or they're at practice, whatever, they only focus in on their child. They're not 
looking at the whole team. Um, they watch when their son or daughter goes over and gets a drink. I mean, they're, they're constantly focused in, which is understandable. But they need to understand that that person is a part of the team. And the decisions that are being made are for the betterment of the team, not that individual. Whereas in youth, and if they were coaching their kid, they might have made a decision might have been best for their kid. But um, very often, the kids themselves know their position on the team. They know uh, where they belong on the team. They're very content with where they are on the team. And it's the parents that are unhappy, uh, that they're not the star, they're not the captain, or they're not making the, the, the number of goals or scores. So they need to just sit back and, and look at the bigger picture and say, you know, is the overall experience uh, providing what it's supposed to to my son or daughter? And, and, and try to be content with that. Another key word you use a lot is fun. Fun is important. And, and uh, you know, surveys across this country uh, indicate that the athletes play sports uh, because of the enjoyment component. They, they want to bring something out of it. Uh, it you know, it, it, it should be hard work. And you can have hard work and still have fun. But it's no fun if somebody's screaming at them from the sidelines constantly. And, and uh, you know, as I said, they had to focus on, on, on their coach and what the coach is instructing them. Uh, we, and, again, we educate coaches. But sometimes we have coaches that, that forget it's about mm -hmm. fun as well. But parents screaming at kids on the sideline or, or screaming at officials that embarrasses the, the, their own children. I've had, I've had, you know, 30 years as an athletic director, I've had actual students come up to me and say, can you talk to my mother or father? Oh, that's and, terrible. Yeah, I mean, they're embarrassed. They're actually embarrassed by the actions of their parents. And, again, they get caught up in the emotion of it. Um, so parents really should really just be there to support them. Support is the key. The key is, that word in, in our video is, is, is transcending through every, through every scenario. Um, you know, we produced this video to, to let people know that uh, they need to support their child. And certainly that does not mean uh, attacking the coach or screaming and hollering at the coach. It, it really means being there for the child um, uh, as they come off the field after, after a loss or a victory and, and greeting them and, and, and talking to them and, and, and making sure that their child is having the right experience. Um, and, and, and again, I was a parent, you're a parent. I, the, the most important thing is to just be supportive of your child. They're doing something they want to do. They shouldn't be doing it because the parent wants them to do it. Uh, and they're doing it because they want to enjoy it. And let them enjoy it. And, right. and be there when they have questions and ask questions. Um, but don't try and coach them and don't try and tell them what to do. And Well, I'll take everything you said to <laughs> heart. But this is all great information for parents. Of athletes. And if you want more information on the Connecticut Association of Athletic Directors, we'll have the link on our website. Fred, thank you again. Thank you.